I just don't understand you, Kev. <laughs> it's in the name. It's coffee, it's caffeine, it's supposed to be there. What is the difference between decaf coffee and normal coffee? I'm just trying to remember this and pull up the information on our database. For me, it tastes less of coffee. Is that because the, the caffeine they're taking out, that's some of the flavours come out? It shouldn't affect the taste at all. Oh, it must be psychological then. <laughs> it could very well be. How, how do they take the caffeine out? That's a question that I don't know, but we can certainly find out for you. <sighs> to get the lowdown on coffee, there's only one place to go. There are a number of ways to decaffeinate coffee, but manufacturers don't put the details on the label. Wow. So what are they? What happens inside? Coffee is put in contact with the solvent to remove caffeine. What is the solvent? Methylene chloride. Can we have a look inside? Yes. The beans sit in the solvent for up to 14 hours to extract the caffeine. <laughs> It's like uh, the smell from the green bean. Ah, but it's like it hits you in the back of the throat. It, it, it's the same smell you felt in the warehouse. Really? Yes. No. These huge tanks of methylene chloride, or what a chemist would call dichloromethane, weren't part of the guided tour. But after a bit of persuasion, Senor Murai agrees to let me have a look at the stuff. Here it is. This is it. Yes. This is the thing that takes the caffeine out of the coffee bean. Yes. Can I have a little smell? Yeah, you can see it inside, yeah. It reminds me of the smell of the glue that I used to use when I used to make my little aeroplane models. It's oh. that sort of, that smell. Back in the UK, I decide to find out more about that pungent solvent that took me back to my model-making days. Hi, you must be Darren. I am. Do you need to put these on before you come in? OK, that's the job. This place supplies chemicals to all types of industries and sells lots of dichloromethane. Can I have a look at the solvent close you up? I've got a bottle here in the, in the fume cupboard. Can I taste a little bit? No. Nope. Just a little bit, a spoonful? It would be very bad for your health if you did that. Really? Yes. Basically, that sign means it causes some damage to the human body, basically. Well, it's a known carcinogen. It can cause cancer. No it's way. I saw on the label just there. You're telling me this stuff causes cancer? It's been proven to cause cancer, yeah. But yet we can use it to take the caffeine out of our coffee? We can, yeah. These green coffee beans have been soaked in dichloromethane solvent for 10 hours. During that time, the solvent extracts the caffeine out of the beans. The remaining solution is heated until the solvent evaporates, and voila, just the caffeine is left behind. In the factory, after the dichloromethane has been drained off, the beans are put into another solution that removes almost all of the remaining solvent. The beans now meet the FDA regulation and can be sent off for roasting. So, is that safe to taste? There'd be no dichloromethane there, and it's only been pure coffee beans, so I would say, yeah, you're safe to taste a small quantity. Do you want to go first? Oh, dear. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh, Darren, try oh dear. It. Oh, it's quite Just... thick. Cool. What's that like? But that's horrible, isn't it? It's just quite bitter. Quite bitter? <laughs> you took a load in your mouth as well. <laughs> but you know what? There's definitely that coffee punch, that robust yeah. bitterness. Mm. That's where some of that flavour's gone. It's, it's here. We've extracted the flavour as well as the caffeine. Yeah. And what we've left with is probably a, a drink that's absolutely acceptable as coffee, but yeah. it's, a, it's a bit more mild. That's right, yeah, definitely. It's interesting because I'd sort of now... I get the bigger picture after being to the factory. Yeah. I can see why they didn't really want me poking around looking at this solvent. One, because they're probably worried that I was going to dip my finger and taste it. That's and big. two, as a coffee manufacturer, you know, th this is something they use in their process. It is safe, but really, when you see suspected of causing cancer, they probably don't really want to talk about it. No, I wouldn't think they would, no. It's a shame. I wish they would. It'd save me coming here, wouldn't it? I could have stayed in Brazil. That's not very good. I had a bikini on half an hour ago. <laughs>